I've talked to all kinds of groups uh, all over the world, including people like auto workers and, and, and coal miners, and I've never met one of them who does what they do because they want to change the climate, but change the climate they are doing. So you cannot perpetuate that kind of work in a business as usual mode just to maintain grandfather's line of work indefinitely through the next seven generations. On the other hand, since they're not responsible for this, you can't just knock them out on the street either. So there are several things you have to try to do. In the case of coal, you try to figure out, can you take the carbon dioxide out and put it underground? So that maintains the industry. If you can't do that safely or economically, you don't have to knock the whole business out in a week. You could do it in a generation. So you let people age through, you just don't rehire. There are ways to do that. How about job retraining or even direct side payments to help people through transitions? You've got to find win-wins to be both fair and environmentally effective. What about auto workers? Well, I don't want to put the auto workers out in the street. I want them to make new cars that are lighter, better engineered. People want to drive that at the same time uh, don't have the same environmental side effects. Well, there's plenty of work to be done, but it's going to require some incentives and some rules to push that. So you don't have to say you're out in the street. You have to say you're not making a 7,000 pound monster anymore because they're now going to be either illegal or too expensive to buy if you can't demonstrate that you're a farmer or a rancher or, 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 or a uh, construction person where you need it. It's a truck. So if it's a truck, it should have a truck fee and a truck driver's license and driving the truck lane. So what we do is we have this hypocrisy, which is in, 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 in a peak in the United States, is they jump around the rules for uh, tailpipe emission standards because it's a truck, but when it's out on the freeway, it's allowed to drive anywhere. Why not just simply make it drive in the right lane at 55 miles an hour and require everyone to have a truck driver's license? The market would collapse and there wouldn't take one piece of legislation just to enforce the laws we have. So these are the kinds of things we need to do. And I wouldn't even advocate doing that in an hour and a half. I'd give it a five-year transition. Give people time to adjust, but make it inexorable and no grandfathering and escapes just transitions.